This simulation run demonstrates how to berth the ship's starboard side to a key, in a condition of calm wind and tide ahead with the deployment of the offshore anchor. The objective of this scenario is to use the offshore anchor, in combination with a bow line to hold the ship against the current, and control the lateral speed of the bow. The approaching speed of the stern, when necessary, can be controlled with the engines ahead, and proper rudder together with the stern line. The same as scenario number 7, the vessel should stem the stream so that she can be easier in control due to the braking effect of the current, and higher effects of the rudders. With the deployment of the offshore anchor and a bow line, it is possible to cause the bow to move inwards the berth. To support pulling the stern inwards the berth, the bow line should be passed from the after position, so the forward breast line is advisable. With this arrangement, the ship can be controlled to gently approach the berth. In case the stern does not move inwards strong enough, heave on the quarter spring, or application of engines ahead with outward rudders to increase the approaching speed. On the contrary, if the stern moves inward too strong, the application of engines ahead with inward rudders can reduce the approaching speed. With this manner, all the forces could be controlled to bring the ship alongside. Maneuvering steps This maneuvering can be divided into four basic steps. Step 1 Handle the vessel against the stream at a slow speed. Stop the vessel off the berth at the position planned to drop anchor. This position should be calculated to ensure that the anchor should hold when approaching the berth. Step 2. Due to the current, the vessel then starts her sternway. Drop the offshore anchor. Pass the forward breast line to the key. Easy the anchor chain, and gradually heave the bow line on, to move the ship inwards the berth. Step 3. Pass the quarter spring. Continue easing the anchor chain, and heaving the bow line on, to move the ship inwards the berth. When necessary, use the engines with proper rudder angles, and adjust the pulling forces of the stern line, to bring the vessel parallel to the berth. Step 4. When the vessel is alongside, stop engines, send headline, stern line, bow spring, after breast, and make fast all lines. In this scenario, the ship model is a container vessel. Her length is 165 meters, breadth is 27 meters, and the draft is 7.6 meters. The ship is fully loaded and fixed with a single right-handed propeller. The current speed is 2 knots with a direction of 125 degrees. The video speed is set 5 times faster than in the real time.
this video is just a maneuvering scenario, run a simulation for a sample ship model. In practice, each ship or her loading condition has different maneuverability. Thus, it is necessary to adjust the time taken steps and apply the engines, the rudders, and control tension of anchor and lines properly to obtain the best maneuvering performance. All comments from experienced navigators or experts to improve the performance are appreciated.